Ahoy mateys, it's your boy B3, back to another kicking action figure review. This is one I've been sitting on for a while. Uh, as you can clearly see here, it is the SH Figure Arts Gokai Red figure from Pirate Sentai Gokaiger. Now I'm a huge Gokaiger fan. I hate Super Megaforce, don't worry, we're on the same page. <laughs> but I love Gokaiger. So I was in an action figure group on Facebook. I think it might have been Action Figure Addicts. And I came across this for sale post of all six Gokaiger team members, all six, for about a hundred bucks. And not only was it all six members complete with accessories, but we also got the fancy wheel, steering wheel, and, uh companion steering wheels that they pilot the Zords with. Which was insane. Like, that's probably the best price you'll ever get. They're heavily posed. These are heavily posed figures, but I don't care. Because I'm going to heavily pose them anyways. <laughs> so, uh, let's check out our good friend Captain Marvelous here. Um, let's look at his fancy... Oh my god, it's beautiful. Like, I'm so glad they came with these... Um, so, this is what they pilot the Megazord with. It actually has a slot here where you can insert their keys, which is really, really cool. I, I like the key mechanic in this show. They could turn into past Sentai members. It was really, really cool. Uh, there's their Gokaiger symbol right there. Fancy pirate boys and a couple girls. Yoink. Um, one complaint I did have about this show... Uh, Lots of the Sentai shows seem to have the same yellow and pink ranger over and over, where the pink one's kind of a girly girl and the yellow one's a tomboy, and they just kind of do that over and over again. It also had this with it. I guess this goes with red. I think he's supposed to stand on it. Uh, but I thought he seemed better without it. You see, like, you can... Like, it kind of it cups that perfectly. So I think this goes with red, because the others all have chairs, and he stands, I believe. But this is really cool. This is an extremely cool feature, and I'm very happy to have it. That'll be a great setup on a shelf someday when I have more room and more shelves. So, here's Gokai Red himself. An incredible figure. You can see he's been posed heavily because, like, see how the wear on those joints? And the legs are a little loose, too. See the legs, how floppy the leg is right there? But uh, I think I can manage with him. Like, the foot joints are real tight. The arm joints, despite being physically worn, are also very tight. It's just that leg. But once again, I'll live. Maybe I can look up some uh, joint tightening techniques online. If anyone has any good ones, let me know in the comments section below. Uh, but he's quite gorgeous. You know, the head sculpt is probably the most important thing on most figures, but especially Super Sentai members, since lots of them just have the same body and unique heads and colors. Uh, so that's Captain Marvelous' head. I actually have this sculpt already, because I have the Gokai Christmas figure. Uh... And Gokai Christmas is the same sculpt as this, because it's red, but he's also using green's powers. So it's literally just this figure, but down the center half of it's green. Voila. Uh, but this guy's really, really cool. Uh, he's got really nice gold and silver on him. Uh, figure Arts did not skip on these anniversary figures, and it's a good thing they didn't, because these really are some of the best figure arts of all time. As you can see, there's more than enough articulation all over Captain Marvelous here. You know, all kinds of arm movement. Uh, there are some things on him that have changed a lot. I'm going to show him with some newer SH figure arts uh, in the size comparisons. Uh, however, the newer figure arts I have are all common Riders because uh, they don't make Super Sentai figures uh, in figure arts anymore. Which I'm actually fine with because getting full teams was just so expensive. Uh... I'm a Lightning Collection guy now. You'll also see him compared with Lightning Collection figures. But, uh, yeah, let's get to looking at some of those accessories. So here is Captain Marvelous with his accessories. Uh, as you can see, he's got a trigger holding hand and a regular holding hand, as well as several other hands, including pointing, loose hands, etc. Uh, very, very cool fist hands. Uh, I know exactly what I'm going to be displaying him with. It looks like he might actually be missing a fist hand, to be completely honest. But... Also, I don't really care. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> it's like the last thing I'm gonna display him with because he has so much. And he has this cool thing where you can pop his arms off and put these crossed arms on because he crossed his arms so much in the show. They knew people would want to pose him like that. So, crossed arms. Very cool. You have uh, the sword and gun, or blaster, sorry. Usually they call these sabers also, but you see these parts on them pull out because that's these fold out and then they plug the keys in and then they fold it back in for a power up. The gun does the same thing. Uh, we also have the uh, Gokai Change Morpher here and it has a hole to plug the key in. You see you have the key uh, folded up here on the right. The Captain Marvelous key. You don't have the silver key edge on it because it's going to be plugged in. You need to plug it into the Morpher or the steering wheel. And then here's the Captain Marvelous key. And if you flip it over, you actually do see the silver painted. Oops, I lost it. That's really cool. And then you have these parts that actually have the key plugged into it. And then you can swap the, the, <clears throat> them out with the parts on the sword and gun. The key isn't painted here. It's just silver like the main piece, but it's still pretty cool. Now we're going to get to some size comparisons. First, I'm going to show him up with a classic Japanese Super Sentai figure line. It is the Bandai Japan... The Sentai Hero Series line. Here's Zuyo Whale. Uh, I've actually been calling him Zuyo Orange, but I think he's actually a form of the Red Ranger. Uh, I just watched a mini series where that seemed to be the case, so I thought he was a separate Ranger. That's my bad. Uh, and then here's an American figure, the GameStop exclusive Bandai Legacy Armored Red Ranger. And as you can see, they're much too big for him. They aren't going to scale with each other at any point ever. So sorry about that. And so, oopsie daisy. Now, how about we compare him with uh, current American line, the line for kids. Uh, Go Kydras actually did have a movie crossover with Go Busters. So let's show him the Go Busters kid line from America, Beast Morphers. So here he is with Evox. They actually look fantastic together. That is really good. That looks really good. And here he is with Blue Buster, a.k.a. Beast Morpher's Blue Ranger. And they actually look pretty good, too. Uh, this Blue Ranger doesn't move near as much as the Gokai Red. Um, and he's a little thicker, but Blue was also a pretty strong guy in the Sentai. I think you could work it. But, to be completely honest, the complete Go Busters team... Well, complete Go Busters base team. I take that back, because they didn't do gold and silver uh, in SH figure arts form, but... Red, blue, and yellow are all in figure arts form, so you can get them to go with your Captain Marvelous and other Gokaijus if you wish. Let's move these two off and show them with a line. I know you guys want to see them with the Lightning Collection. Here he is with Lord Zed. I actually think this is fine. I like Lord Zed being much bigger than him since he's a villain. And then, uh... Here he is with the only Sentai I like better than Gokaiger. Out of the New Age stuff, anyways. Out of the late Heisei stuff. Uh, Kiryu Red from my favorite Sentai. But he's Dino Charge Red in this line. And he does look a little too big. Right? Like, the villains in the Lightning Collection seem like they're probably okay. Uh, because they're villains and they're supposed to be a little bigger. But if you want this guy to scale with something... The best thing to scale any line with is itself. Right. So let's show them with some SH figure arts. Some newer ones. These are the 20 Common Rider Kicks versions of these riders. So the 20 Common Rider Kicks Common Rider Gaim Orange Arms. And the 20 Common Rider Kicks Common Rider Gaim. Not Common Rider Gaim. Common Rider Blade. Common Rider Blade. So. He looks great with them. I mean, they're obviously bulkier than him, but riders, riders always are bulkier, you know? Especially the Heisei ones. And these are Neo Heisei and Heisei, respectively. And uh, he just looks good with others. Uh, I don't have my females out yet. But uh, the next two reviews from now will be one of the female Gokaijers. And you can see her compared with Captain Marvelous. In that review, obviously he's going to scale well with most of the male rangers because he's the same body, except for Silver, who should have a different body. But, that's that. So what are my final thoughts on the SH Figure Arts Gokai Red figure from Bandai and Tamashii Nations? 
So glad he's in my collection. I don't know why I'm just now reviewing him, but he's been in my collection for a while now. Uh, I absolutely love him. Uh, one of the best figure arts ever made. He has the best accessories out of any figure art I've reviewed so far. Just straight up. He's an absolutely gorgeous figure. Yes, mine's a little worn. Yes, he seems to be missing a fist. Uh, but he has so many accessories that I'm probably never going to display him with a fist unless I need, need it for some ACBA. And even then, I have all the Gokaijers who have all the same gloves, so I can just use one of their fists. So I'm not mad. Not at all. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, and etc. And I will see you all next time when I yet again decide to rhyme.